In this video, we will discuss the conditions for profit maximization. We know that in order to maximize profit, a firm must equate marginal revenue with marginal cost. Let us consider a total revenue function R equals R of Q. R here is a functional notation that is R is a function of Q and a total cost function C equals C of Q that is C is a function of Q. Both the revenue function and cost function are a function of one single independent variable Q that is output. We know that profit is equal to revenue minus cost of the firm. In notational form we can write pi is equal to R minus C or profit which is a function of Q is equal to revenue which is a function of Q minus cost which is a function of Q. There are two conditions for profit maximization. The first condition is also known as first order condition or necessary condition. The first order condition or necessary condition requires that the first order derivative equals zero. That is d pi by dq which is equivalent to pi prime of q equals zero. Here pi prime of q is another notation for the first order derivative of pi with respect to q. Now since profit pi equals revenue minus cost, the first order condition can also be written as r prime of q minus c prime of q equals zero. Or by transferring c prime of q to the right hand side we have r prime of q equals c prime of q. The marginal revenue function mr is obtained by taking the derivative of r with respect to q which is equivalent to r prime of q. Similarly, the marginal cost function mc is obtained by taking the derivative of c with respect to q which is equivalent to c prime of q. Therefore, the first order condition requires that the marginal revenue MR equals marginal cost MC. Therefore, the first order condition for profit maximization requires that the first order derivative equals zero or marginal revenue equals marginal cost. The second condition for profit maximization is also known as second order condition or sufficient condition. The second order condition or sufficient condition requires that the second order derivative be less than zero or negative. That is d square pi by dq square which is equivalent to pi double prime of q must be less than zero or negative or r double prime of q minus c double prime of q must be less than zero. By transferring c double prime of q to the right hand side we have r double prime of q is less than c double prime of q. Now r double prime of q is the rate of change of the marginal revenue function or slope of the marginal revenue function and c double prime of q is the rate of change of the marginal cost function or slope of the marginal cost function. Therefore the second order or sufficient condition for profit maximization requires that the second order derivative be less than zero or negative or the slope of the marginal revenue function be less than the slope of the marginal cost function. Let us understand the conditions for profit maximization with the help of a figure. In panel A of the figure, the total cost curve intersects the total revenue curve at two points, that is at output level Q2 and Q4. In the interval Q2 to Q4, we can see that the total revenue is greater than total cost. That is, in the interval Q2 to Q4, profit is positive. However, in the interval 0 to Q2 and Q4 to Q5, we see that the total cost is greater than total revenue. So in both the intervals 0 to Q2 and Q4 to Q5, profit is negative. Now we have already discussed that the first order condition 
d pi by dq which is equal to 0 is equivalent to r prime of q equals c prime of q that is marginal revenue equals marginal cost in panel a of the figure the total cost curve and total revenue curve are equal at two points that is at output level q1 and q3 since at these two points the slope of the total cost curve is equal to the slope of the total revenue curve now this is clearly evident in the figure where the tangent lines drawn to the two curves are parallel to each other now the equality of the slope of the total revenue curve and total cost curve at output level q1 and q3 implies the equality of the marginal revenue and marginal cost in panel b of the figure the profit curve is obtained by plotting the vertical distance between the total cost curve and total revenue curve at each level of output we can see that the profit curve lies above the horizontal axis only in the intervals q2 to q4 according to the first order condition for profit maximization the first derivative should be equal to zero that is at a point of maximum the slope of the profit curve should be zero however if we carefully look at a profit curve we see that the slope of the profit curve equals zero at two points that is at point k and at point m however point m yields minimum profit and not maximum profit therefore the first order condition or necessary condition alone is not sufficient for profit maximization for the existence of profit maximization the second order condition must be satisfied according to the second order condition or sufficient condition the second order derivative should be less than zero or should be negative in my lectures on derivatives and nature of the curve of a function and maxima and minima of a function i have already discussed that if the second order derivative of the function is greater than zero then the shape of the function will be in the form of a valley while if the second order derivative is less than zero then the shape of the function will be in the form of a hill this ensures the existence of a maximum profit at point m the second order derivative d square pi by dq square is greater than zero this implies that output q1 yields minimum profit while output q3 yields maximum profit now we have already discussed that the second order condition or sufficient condition for profit maximization requires that the second order derivative be less than zero or negative or the slope of the marginal revenue function must be less than the slope of the marginal cost function in panel c of the figure we can see that the output level q3 satisfies the second order condition since at point l the slope of the marginal revenue curve is less than the slope of the marginal cost curve at point l the slope of the marginal revenue function is negative while the slope of the marginal cost function is positive however at output level q1 that is at point n both the slope of the marginal revenue function and marginal cost function is negative now this violates the second order condition so these are the two conditions for profit maximization the first order condition or necessary condition requires that the first order derivative equals zero or mr equals mc and the second order condition or sufficient condition requires that the second order derivative be less than zero or negative or the slope of the marginal revenue curve must be less than the slope of the marginal cost curve 